So with your new uh, uh, systems, you're now crash rated for a dynamic incident. It's 26 G's front end, 22 G's rear end, and a 20 G circle around your patient. We have numerous incidents recently where the vehicle has rolled multiple times. San Bernardino, November of 19, rolled three full times. The four people in the back had five point harnesses on. The patient was fully restrained. It was laying on its side and everybody was where they were supposed to be. They all walked away with minor scratches. That's, the, that's what we want to see. We want to see you five pointed in. We want to see your patient five pointed in. There's a new requirement in the state of Oregon that it is a dynamically crash tested system that you work around. So anybody that gets a new vehicle has to get a system that's dynamically crash rated regardless. It's very similar in airbags and, and seatbelt requirements that they started to roll out. I know it can be challenging with your patient to do the best that you can depending on their injuries. Mo our most challenging part of this scenario was stopping the patient where they needed to stop. Is their pulse and their body in that accident would catch up to the incident. That's where we would see either them or their provider multiple feet from where they were when the accident started. You've got Lucas now. There's no reason that you should be holding onto a bar trying to perform one arm core CPR. You didn't have a chance, you know, opportunity before. Now you've got something to help you do that. Power load will also help you keep, you know, safe and secure as you're rolling down the road.